Hey everyone, my name is Sahil and in today's video, we will talk about the importance of inspection and maintenance of your lightning protection system. In this video, we will focus on number one, the importance of testing done during the inspection and maintenance of the system. Number two, the different stages of inspection. Number three, the key tests that need your attention during inspection. And number four, a brief overview on maintenance as well. Okay, so let's start by understanding the importance of inspecting your lightning protection system. These lightning protection systems protect your structure from lightning strikes and that makes them critical to your structure. To ensure its effectiveness, it is essential to perform testing, inspection and maintenance as per the standard IEC 62305 part 3. These tests and inspections confirm that the system is meeting the standards requirements, all components are in good condition and any recent additions or constructions are properly integrated into the lightning protection system. Now let's look at the different stages where inspection should be done. First of all, during construction or installation. Inspection here ensures the correct installation procedure, particularly for components that are hidden, maybe behind a wall or some sort of facade. Secondly, after installation. Once all the components are installed, they should be inspected and tested, such as checking the electrical continuity, equipment potential bonding, and examining the complete lightning protection system. If you want, you can learn more about equipotential potential bonding in our video here. The link will also be in the description. Thirdly, periodical inspection. This should be done at least once in a year. This is vital to ensure that the system continues to meet the necessary standards and functions effectively. Number four, inspection post alteration or repair. The entire system should be inspected after any changes or repairs to ensure it is still functioning correctly. Now, let's discuss the four key tests that need your attention while inspecting any lightning protection system. Firstly, a visual inspection. Secondly, continuity testing. Thirdly, an earth resistance test. And fourthly, testing on any SPD that does not have a visual indicator. Let's discuss the visual inspection first. You need to ensure that the system conforms to the IEC 62305 standards and that the system is in generally good condition. You should pay extra attention to these seven details during the visual inspection. First, there should be no loose connections and no accidental breaks in the conductors and joints. Secondly, the fastened lightning protection system components should be intact. Thirdly, no part of the system has been weakened by corrosion, especially at the ground level. Four, all visible earth connections are intact and functionally operational. Number five, there is no damage to the lightning protection system, surge protection device or any failure of fuses which protect the SPD. Number six, there is no addition or any sort of alteration to the protected structure, which would require additional protection. If there is any alteration, adequate equipment potential bonding should be established. Number seven, bonding conductors and connections inside the structure should be present and intact. Now let's discuss continuity testing. Continuity testing is a test between two conductive components to check if the installed connection is open or closed. Performing continuity tests is important at installation stages and at a time of periodical inspections. Special attention is required for the continuity of some components like down conductors which are not visible for inspection. The main objective here is to ensure that there is adequate connection maintained between the air terminal and down conductor and also between the earth electrode and the down conductor. Thirdly, the earth resistance test. Earth resistance test of the earth termination system ensures electrical safety. Each earth electrode should be tested for resistance by isolating them from the down conductor and keeping them in a disconnected position. 
the electrode is isolated so that the loop resistance is not added, which will give us the wrong resistance value. A calibrated earth resistance device should be used for measuring the resistance. In an earth termination system, the earth resistance should not exceed 10 ohms. If it does exceed that value, the earthing should be revised. Fourthly, the SPD test or the surge protection device test. Surge protection devices without visual indicators need to be tested. You can easily do that by using the guidelines or equipment provided by the manufacturer of that SPD. Finally, coming towards maintenance. Periodic maintenance is important and should be established for all lightning protection systems. The interval for maintenance can be decided based on the protection level assigned to the structure. However, Maintenance is mandatory when exposed to actual lightning strikes or if there is any damage based on extreme weather or any environment related degradation. The maintenance team should perform the following activities. Visual verification of all lightning protection system conductors and system components. Verification of electrical continuity. Measurement of earth resistance of earth termination system, verification of surge protection devices, and refastening of components and conductors. These activities ensure that the effectiveness of the lightning protection system has not been reduced. Also, complete records should be maintained of all inspection and maintenance procedures. I hope you now have a clear idea about the importance of maintenance and inspection of lightning protection systems, the different stages where testing is required and the key parameters that need to be tested. If there's one thing that we want you to take away from this video is that regular maintenance and inspection of a lightning protection system should never be avoided. Also, ensure that these tests like the earth resistance test and the continuity test should be carried out only by a competent or authorized engineer in accordance with the IEC 62305 Part 3 standards. At AXIS, we have a team of 40 plus engineers who are here to help you in designing, installing and testing your lightning protection system. Our products have been used in substations, data centers, factories, and even in everyday residential and commercial buildings. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to our channel for more videos about lightning protection, grounding systems, along with other videos about electrical engineering. I'll see you soon.